friends. Hello everyone, now down the two times fifth beam on Xbox Live down on YouTube. Back again for another, well, re reactions and review. Technically, it's also a predictions video. That's right, it's also a predictions video. And I'm going to be watching WWE Survivor Series War Games. And, well, you can swap over the PC that I've got. I'm going to try a green screen. And so on the screen right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, for each match, I'm going to pause it before each match happens. And then we are going to do them. But I'm going to watch the match and then I'm going to review it. I've got my Seth Rollins top right here for when he has his match. So let's get on with the, match, the first matchup which is the first war games match of the night it is team bianca this is team bailey daniel put it up on the screen right now what the match is boom so yeah this this i'm going to make my predictions now uh and i think it will be Team Bailey that will pick up the victory, which is consists of uh, Bailey, Dakota Kai, Io Sky, Rhea Ripley, and Nikki Cross, and they're facing the Team Bianca that consists of Bianca Belair, the Royal Women's Champion, Bianca Belair, Oscar, Alexa Bliss, Mia Yim, and Becky Lynch. So let's go and find out who wins that match. As I said, I think it's going to be Team Bayley that wins. But I want Bianca Belair's team to win. So let's do this. I'll be back for the review of the match. Well, well, well. Looks like we had the first women's raw, the war game match on Survivor Series. Because we've had war game matches in the past that featured women, I think maybe four because there was mentions of uh, many people like Dakota Kai being her fourth uh, War Games matchup and this was no disappointment as it was counted left, right and centre everywhere. Both rings had weapons in them from from trash can lids or trash can and trash cans or bins and bin lids depending on which one you want whatever you want to call them you had techno sticks you had tables ladders everything under the sun was in these matches oh my god i can't believe what i saw finishes galore including in a green a blue mist to the from alaska to rhea ripley Oh my god, what a War Games match. What a beautiful way to start off uh, Survivor Series War Games. Five stars out of five stars. Two thumbs up from me. And it was indeed the biggest finish ever to finish this match off. As we saw, uh, uh, Bianca Bella put... Dakota Kai and Io Sky on top of this table. Bailey trying to stop them from doing whatever they had planned, but this he got KO'd into the steel cage mash. And then it was one huge leg drop off of the top of the War Games cage from Becky Lynch through the table. One, two, three. The winners of War Women's War Game Match of Survivor Series, Team Bianca Belair. And up next, the next matchup is going to be AJ Styles versus Finn Balor. Now, who do I want to win this matchup? I, well, I will tell you in a second because I'm going to tell you who I think is going to win. I think it's going to be Finn Balor for the victory here. Who do I want to win? I want AJ Styles. And well, I'm about to watch it. So let's find out who's going to win. Are the AJ Styles or Finn Balor? Let's do this. And the winner of the match, AJ Styles. See, I kind of love it. It was a great matchup. Back and forth, I didn't know who was going to win. It, I, well, 
It could have gone either way, admittedly, but it was the victory for AJ Styles on this night. And, well, I there was the moment where I thought Fan Battle was going to hit... <coughs> was going to hit the Styles Clash, but that... He reversed that into the... The Clash Crusher that he'd been aiming for that leg all match. And, well... It paid off because, you know, and yet out there, here was Finn Balor going for the coup de grace. He lands on his feet awkwardly after AJ Styles rolls out the way. And, well, you know, it was a one, two, uh, well, when he rolls out of the way, uh, he rolls out the way. And, well, it was enough. For AJ Styles to apply the calf crusher in the end, rinsing it and rinsing it right back, and well, of course, the winner uh, after all that pain, AJ Styles tapping it out uh, to the staff. Uh, well, we thought he was to tap out, but no, it was he went wham, 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 counted it, but in the end, it was one phenomenal forearm. And that was it. One, two, three. After the phenomenal forearm, the winner is AJ Styles. But we're going to find out what the next match is. Uh, Ronda Rousey defending her SmackDown Women's Championship against Shotzi. Now, who do I think is going to win this matchup? Ronda Rousey. Who do I want to win this matchup? I want Shotzi to win this matchup. And this is gonna be a big matchup. It probably only last five minutes because Ronda Rousey will make Shotzi tie belt in a matter of seconds. But nevertheless, Shotzi challenges the SmackDown Women's Champion Ronda Rousey next. I'll do it from here. It's not gonna make a difference. I'll hide the rest. In three, two, one. Well, that was slightly disappointing, but hey, it didn't go the way I thought it was going to go. I, but I did say, I think Ronda Rousey was going to win. And indeed, she did. She successfully defended her title against Shotzi because I couldn't see it going any other way. As there was some very good mo momentum going towards Shotzi, including a moment where she chucked... Both Shayna Baszler and Ronda Rousey into the crowd. Now, I'm pretty sure the people in the crowd were planted there uh, as stuntmen or something. Or some uh, trainee wrestlers. But it was amazing to see that. That uh, Shotzi did a cross body onto Shayna Baszler and on Ronda Rousey. Landing on the laps of three lucky fellas. Uh... Knocking everyone over like a bunch of bowling ball pins. That was awesome. I thought Shotzi had it after that. But nope. It was one humongous judo throw off the top rope. And then a Piper's Pit. Then an armbar. And within seconds Shotzi is tapping out like a little bitch. As we're going to go on to the next matchup. Still the Smackdown Women's Champion. Ronda Rousey. We have, like, I think two or three matches now. We have the triple threat match for the United States Championship. And the men's war game matchup left. So we have, I'm presuming that the United States Championship match is next. Where Seth Rollins will defend his time against Bobby Lashley. And, of course, uh... Mr. A Downtown himself, Austin Theory. But we'll find out in a sec what the next match is right now. As I predicted, it is for the United States Championship. And it will be Bobby Lashley and Austin Theory being the challengers for Seth Rollins' United States Championship. I am supporting Seth Rollins here. Who do I think is going to win? Seth or freaking Rollins. Who do I want to win? Seth freaking Rollins. Come on, let's go. Let's burn it. A town down is all I have to say for this matchup. But what a triple threat match, ladies and gentlemen, for the United States Championship. 
and it was back and forth. First of all, it started off with Bobby Lashley clotheslining Austin Theory over the top rope. Austin Theory got back in, got clotheslined by Seth Rollins. Then it was back and forth action between Seth Rollins and Bobby Lashley. There was an amazing moment where Bobby Lashley was going to pick up you know, Austin Theory and hit him with uh, that... T- Big move, he hits onto the turnbuckle, almost got through and thrown into the turnbuckle himself, but that didn't happen. Uh, I have to say, I'm the ending though was spectacular. I mean, we had oh, we had a hurt lock on to Austin Theory, and he got ro- he rolled up into a pinfall. There was even and there was a near two count as Frog Splash from Seth Rollins hitting that onto. Uh, to interrupt the two count, we also had the double hurt lock from Bobby Lashley onto Seth Rollins and Austin Theory. They counted that. They had, to, but the ending was amazing, absolutely amazing. We had Austin Theory that was on the top rope, and then it was the superplex from Seth Rollins, which usually rolls it through into the Falcon Arrow. But a spear from Bobby Lashley spears Rollins off his feet, but the Austin Theory landed on Seth Rollins because of the momentum. And well, the referee counted the one, two, three, and the new two time United States champions, Austin Theory. Which means that the last match, ladies and gentlemen, is of course the 5 on 5 War Game Men's War Games match. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go and do those predictions right now for you. There we go, there's the match on the screen. And, well, it's going to be big. It's going to be huge. As uh, as we've got the Brawling Brutes of Ridge Holland, Butch and Sheamus teaming up with Drew McIntyre and Kevin Owens to take on the bloodline of Roman Reigns, Jimmy and Jay Uso, Solo Sokoa and Zami Zayn. Now there's been two talks with Jay Uso and Zami Zayn backstage and they are going, Roman Reigns, Roman Reigns had a talk with them both to figure out who is the one that's going to be with him and who's the one that's going to be against him. My guess is, is that Jay, o, Jay Uso is going to be the one doing the betrayal here. Maybe costing them the match. And Sammy's the one that's going to be the helping them out. Uh, now here's my predictions. Uh, the, the, I thought there was eliminations in a War Games match, but apparently not. Uh, the, the Rolling Brutes, uh, Drew McIntyre and Kevin Owens all have the advantage. So after the first five minutes are up, it will the next member of the uh, it will either be uh, the, it'll be Team Sheamus, or Team Broden Brutes, one of the members. Their members will come and have the advantage, and so on and so on until the last member comes into the ring and then the war games can but that can begin now who do I think is gonna win I think it'll be the bloodline as, and I and unfortunately I, I, I want as much as I want team brawling brutes Seamus and Kevin Owens to win I think it will be the bloodline but and then I do at the same time think there'll be some shenanigans between Seth, between Jey Uso and Sami Zayn and uh, maybe there'll be like a bit in the middle where Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn starts the match off that's my predictions but let's find out who's gonna win that big five on five men's war game matchup then I will review it in just a minute in just a second so let's do this ladies and gentlemen my name is Daniel and I am the correct person to tell you to acknowledge that not just the tribal chief Roman Reigns, not just the Usos, not just Solo Sokoa, but Sammy Goddamn Uso Zane. 
That is right, ladies and gentlemen, what a men's war game match it was. There was back and forth, great action. Three tables were broken in this matchup, including and a giant 1D through the goddamn table for this matchup. And oh my god, it was unbelievable for this it's from the get-go. And it was at the last minute where Kevin Owens was going one-on-one -on -one with Roman Reigns in the middle of the left ring. And while, <laughs> oh man, Sami Zayn, it was, a, it was a stunner. It was a stunner onto Roman Reigns that was in the middle of the ring. The referee's hand went one, two, and it got caught by who? By Zami Uso. That's right, Zami Uso. I'm going to call him that for now on out. Zami Uso 100% deserves that name. Zami Uso saves the day for the bloodline. Then picks and then he gets, he hits a low blow onto Kevin Owens and then throws him into the goddamn corner. And he then, whoa, <laughs> hits a halooza kick. Then puts him down onto the ground and says, Hey, Jay, do the honors. Oost no splash. One, two, three. The winners of the Man's War Games. No other than the Bloodline. And it's official after the match that Sami Zayn gets a hug, not just from Roman Reigns, but from Jay Uso, which means only one thing, he is now acknowledging that Sami Zayn is working with the Bloodline and is not against the Bloodline. Well, what a big, big match. What a big, big Survivor Series. 10 stars out of fucking 10 stars or whatever. Two thumbs up from me. I can't wait for the next pay-per-view. I, I think December's pay-per-view is usually uh, TLC, I think, but I'm not too sure. We will have to wait and see. Are you? But it's been advertising for Aurora Rumble, so I don't know what's going to happen. But if Aurora Rumble's next, then Aurora Rumble's next. I will make my predictions for that, and I'll make my predictions for the next pay-per-view. And until then, it's a goodbye from me. Uh, Dan, two times fifteen on Xbox Live and on YouTube. Bye bye. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you want to watch the previous video, click on the video on the left. But if you want to watch the playlist, then click on the video on the right. Also, feel free to click subscribe by clicking on the Master Chief icon on the top.